Hello everybody, it's Lazel here with another Magic the Gathering Arena video. Today we will be playing ranked games again and today I brought my mono black deck. It is a deck version that you can see a lot in the current meta and I try to rebuild it with the cards that I do have. But as always I don't have all of the copies that are actually required or are in the highest win rate of meta games. So I try to adjust a little bit and try to compete in the current meta. So we will quickly run over the deck, cut down as a simple removal spell. I am a big fan of Dreams of Steel and Oil. So you get some early information about your opponent's hand, you exile an artifact or creature card from the hand and also in the late game it can be helpful as it exiles a creature or artifact card from a graveyard. So all of these unearthed creatures or also tenacious underdogs are creatures that you can handle with this single-handedly one mana card so i think it's a good pick in here i do have one copy of the evolved sleeper i have one copy of march of wretched sorrow and here in the two drops we also have the transmogrant's crown it's a card that i personally think is a great addition simply because especially in this deck you pay one black mana which you will have in a lot of different cases and then your creature becomes something that even if it gets removed it still uh, replaces itself because of the card drop from the transmogrant's crown and you do have quite a few lifelink creatures in this deck so the plus two plus zero also matters then we have some removal spells go for the throat and infernal grasp i personally run four copies each simply because i don't have that many rare copies of some creatures so i try to rely on more creature removal and so single uh, by that handle the early game i do have two misery shadows a very powerful card if a creature an opponent controls would die exile it instead so you can already see that we are halfway down into the two mana um, curve in this deck and we have a lot of exile removal and that's super dope. Also, I do like to play Pilfer simply because there are cards in the meta that Mono Black struggles to handle with. For example, the Wedding Announcement is a card that I do like to pick with the Pilfer card, for example. And this is just one example of cards that Mono Black cannot handle that easily. Or, for example, we also see the Reckoner, ba uh, Reckoner Bankmaster as a card that matters a lot in the current meta. And if you can take this card on turn two, if you're on the play, it's super dope. Aside from that, we have Tenacious Underdog, two copies, as I simply don't have more of them. Soul Transfer is a card that I found to be helpful in a lot of different situations, as Exile Target Creature or Planeswalker helps in a lot of different cases. But the second mode, Return Target Creature or Planeswalker card from your graveyard to your hand, helps a lot in a lot of different scenarios. And we will, or we might see that in the upcoming matches. And then we have, I have one Liliana of the Veil. Because it's Lily, it's a very powerful card. The, or my personal most hated card in the current meta is the Graveyard Trespasser. I have two copies of it, so I am playing those. Exile removal on ETB and on attack is just very helpful in the current meta and you can handle all of these gin decks other black decks it's just a powerful card and the ward cannot be underestimated it is so strong when your opponent needs to discard a card to interact with this creature on four we have one copy of shieldred the uh, apocalypse don't need to say anything about her so in the mirthless is a card that is in my opinion very strong we have a lot of low cost cards here in the deck and Sorin is card advantage on a stick. You can just plus him, get the card into your hand and you are set up for the turn. Also then on turn four, he would also be already at five loyalty. And as I was saying earlier, we do can make a black vampire creature token with flying and lifelink. That is what I was talking about with the crown, for example. And then you have a decent blocker in a certain scenario or you simply generate more card advantage with him. We have one copy of Invoke Despair, also a card that is very powerful in the current constructed meta, and followed up by two Phyraxian Flesh Gorger, also lifelink creatures, which is why the crown matters, and we run one Takenuma, and yeah, the rest are swamps. I would say let's jump into some games. Oh, 
Okay, creature heavy hand, no interaction, but we take it. We are on the draw. Okay, there's some interaction. Evolved sleeper might see a play with fire immediately. Yep. But okay. One burn spell less that goes straight to our face and Pyrex and Flash Gorger will help a lot. Okay. I'm fine taking or sacrificing some creatures for the opponent's burn spells. Another play with fire or lightning strike. Alright. Opponent down to four cards in hand. Alright. Third play with fire. Opponent scries to the top. Swift spear. Oh, ancestral Anger. Helpful. Makes him draw a card. Also in white. Interesting. We are at 15. I am fine. Do I want to play the... Yeah, I want to play the Flash Gorger. If our opponent has the lightning strike, they have to bring it to the Flesh Gorger, which I'm totally fine with. Alright, Angel Fire Ignition. Kinda could have expected that card, but we can handle it. As we are simply going to... Should have played the Shadow first. And then Infernal Grasp. Exile, and there we... Heal for free. Following turns we can generate some value with Sorin. They need another haste creature and they don't have it. So we will start off with uh, attacking with Flesh Gorger. Healing for free. A land would be super dope. I take no joy. Perfect. And we have cut down available. Or we can pump our shadow once. Let's see. Okay, opponent has seen enough. Super dope. Okay, this looks like a pretty cool opening hand. Let's see. We are playing against enchantments. Kami is simply a card that needs to be in exile. I know that I'm giving them the Spirited Companion, which replaces itself. But as soon as he jump blocks or something like that, I will immediately exile with the Trespasser. Companion now, yeah. But we are drawing lands. Isn't helping at all. Let's try to apply some pressure. Any extra removal is really hard for us. Let's see if they keep fixing their mana with the Iganjo. No, they have a backup Kami, okay. We keep drawing lands. Opponent takes it, play land, flip to night time. I expect some extra removal right now. It's so powerful at the beginning of each end step. This is just very strong. Yep. At least they have to pay the ward here. Text for free. Sorin is a really good draw here. Let's 
hope to find anything that gives us value. Liliana can help. But as soon as the enchantment deck gets rolling, it's close to close to over. Okay, our opponent fixes some mana. If they have another enchantment spell, they can take out our Sorin. Let's see. Another spirited companion or a weaver of harmony is enough. There goes our value engine. Oh, the crown helps. Companion blocks, we draw a card. And of course it is a land. We make our opponent sacrifice, most likely the weaver. Okay. They will get back the weaver. Or the uh, reign of truth. And that will hit us for right. Or will they attack Liliana with it? Hmm, is that lethal? Yeah, I think it's lethal. Oh no! We are down to one. Interesting. Yep, good game. We cannot recast Underdog. Okay, we are on the draw. We have some interactions, some creatures. Looks good. Mono blue. Here we go. Consider. Filling up the graveyard. Alright, let's run into some counter spells here. Another consider. They might use the fading hope. Okay, no fading hope. Graveyard is filling up. A gin would have been perfect here. We do have to force interaction of our opponent. We need to get our trespasser down as soon as possible. But I'm pretty sure that they are holding the counter spell, so let's get some information with the pilfer, which they will most likely counter. Yep, negate. Still filling up the graveyard, free already. They can deploy the terror now. I think they can. Okay. Let's start off with the pill form. Erti Scorn, okay. Artifact or creature card from their graveyard. Well, let's hope that Dreams of Steel and Oil find something. Well, that is a thing. And take the Djinn. They still have the first for discovery, which will generate a lot of value here. They will most likely cast it now. Okay. If they have a creature counter spell, we are in big trouble. Let's see at which point they will... Okay. I'm getting for another free. We have to try it now, otherwise we are lost. If they have the counter spell, this game is most likely over. They used the first, try to find it. Discarding...
Okay, they found it. They must have it. It resolves. Wow, okay. Well, let's try to reduce their graveyard then. We do have some instant speed interaction. They use the impulse. I think Curate is better in this deck. But okay. Most likely here, yeah, Terra. Another one? No, okay. Well, let's try to kill the Terra. We pay the two, and they will, they will counter it. Yep. If we would have found a land, this would have gone or turned out way better. Cannot attack into it. There's another consider. Yeah, the graveyard is getting out of hand. I don't see us handling that situation anymore. And they keep refilling their hand. I oh, wouldn't have had problem with that. Let's try to kill it again. I'm fine paying the two. Negate. Yep. Okay. I don't think that they will counter the crown. They do counter the crown. Wow. Okay. Doesn't help. On attack, we can exile two cards, but we would lose our trespass. I think we attack with the tenacious underdog simply to recast him for his um, blitz cost to draw cards. But our opponent sees what we are trying to do here. If they bring out a djinn, we are in trouble. They don't. Okay. We will try that again. They will have to block at some point. Yeah, now they block. If they have the syncopate, we are in trouble. Okay, they don't. Let's see what we draw. Soul transfer. Helps. Okay, land comes down. Shadow. Shadow doesn't really help. We will try to exile it. And find paying the two. Next counter spell. Fading hope, the terror. Okay. Well, there is an opening now to exile two cards. I mean, their graveyard is stacked anyway, so. But it's an opening. And because we can, we will try to bring out the shadow. Okay, so no creature counter spell. I think that was a mistake that I went for the misery shadow here because we flipped it back. Let's try to kill it again. Hopefully no negate. We pay. Negate or fading hope. Okay, fading hope. Opponent tries to find something. Yes! What a matchup! What a match! Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed these few games of my mono black deck. So what I do have to say, I would really like to have a few more creature copies because I think if the deck goes a little bit more on the aggressive side by playing with more copies of Invoke Despair or with the Evolved Sleeper, Tenacious Underdog, Misery Shadow, all of this pressure in the early game can really outscale because it's more of a mid-range deck than uh, well the usual standard version is a more of a mid-range deck but uh, you need definitely some more early pressure i play in my opinion way too much removal i think i should reduce that but i really like the hand hate in this game so shout out to dreams of steel and oil 
and to pilfer in a few games they really helped out a lot and with all of the hand information of your opponents you can get done a lot but the complete mvp in my opinion as you might have seen here in the last game is the graveyard trespasser it's a card super powerful and with all of these exile mechanics either on etb or and on, on attack especially during the night time it is a very valuable card in the current meta and is just outperforming a lot of other cards. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed it and then I would say see you in the next video.